A new high-tech thin film solar module factory was officially opened on Friday by Minister of Science and Technology Dirk Hanekom. The technology was developed locally by an intellectual holding company that has its origins in research conducted by the University of Johannesburg's Department of Physics. So this is a semi-production plant for the manufacture of what we call um, solar voltaic panels. So the plant has been designed using full-scale equipment so that we can show potential investors what the plant is going to look like. Obviously, the production is not on a full scale, but the machinery that you see here is exactly what will be in a full scale plant. And the whole idea is really to get to a stage where we can convince both local and international people that this technology which has been developed in South Africa is number one commercially viable and number two provides an answer for some serious power requirements, electrical power requirements. We actually manufacture or produce a semiconductor material. So normally you, you, you acquire silicon as a base material and you do certain steps with a silicon you create a device or a PV device. So what we do is take, we start with basics with a piece of glass and then we create the semiconductor materials during the production process. What's unique also is the fact that this material is very efficient in converting sunlight into electricity. So we need only a fraction of human hair thickness, which is about 3 microns, to convert the sunlight into DC electricity. In the case of the silicon, we need about 300 microns, so there is a big commercial advantage. Is physically, it's, it's, it's thinner, it's cheaper, more efficient in terms of absorbing. So other important fact is that it's a second generation technology. Silicon is a first generation, 50 years in the market already. Second generation always means of course, more complicated, more risky to develop initially. First of all, the technology, the actual design of the intricacy to develop a thin film was developed in South Africa. Secondly, all the chemicals, we, whilst we have to import those chemicals, the whole manufacturing process is done locally, except for the glass. So the glass that you see on this, thin, on this, on this panel has currently to be imported, but we're actually working on having glass manufactured in South Africa. Markets for IPPs is a, is, a, is a major market because those players need to demonstrate local content above 70% for these projects, system, system content. And what we offer of course is a product that's 90% local compared to our competitors who import it's got 25 to 30% local content. So just from a government and a funding point of view, you will be restricted if you don't demonstrate local content. This is our big advantage. We're the only company in Africa at the moment that can manufacture PV modules from a raw material to a final product. And so the first instance then, as the University of Johannesburg, our duty is to, to find some of the finest minds, to, to create the enabling environment <coughs> for them to be able to undertake their research, to use our influence as a university, to then leverage our influence with the Department of Science and Technology and in turn with the funding agencies of the Department of Science and Technology to be able to say, here's a great idea. And therefore this idea, uh, we believe, can make a significant impact on our experience um, here in Johannesburg um, and, and, and South Africa, continent and beyond. And, and in that manner then the university was able to leverage resources over the spirit to turn the ideas the initial research in the laboratory into a pilot um, uh, um, plant um, at the university to be able to say now let us take that idea and see if we can um, turn it into a production process. The next stage of course for the university and for Professor Alberts was to be able to come to this point where we are today. An uh, important uh, uh, role we play as technologists is to demonstrate to politicians and ministers uh, that we can deliver the technology and the product to the South African market. That's my responsibility and my team's responsibility. That's how far we can go as technology providers. Uh, now we need a policy to go along with it. So what we discussed with the minister today is exactly that. Um, and he understands very well the limitations, the current limitations com compared to European countries like Germany. Uh, Therefore, in order to make us competitive, this company and future companies, competitive internationally, 
you have to be very careful when you look at um, you know where there's legislation around green energies and subsidies and support which we don't have in this country. Reverse meeting is one example, there are other examples, but in principle what the minister is saying and com government is committed to is to make it easier for these startups, technology companies to compete compete internationally by adjusting uh, of course uh, energy policies of our country.